What's up guys, JY Spunky Dude here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can monitor hardware voltages, temperatures, fan speed, and more. So this was a quick little trick that I found in a YouTube video, but it wasn't that easy to understand the person talking, so I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit easier for you guys out there. But the application I'm using is Open Hardware Monitor. And if you want to download it, you can click on the link in the description below. Or there will be a card up on the screen for PC users. And I'll be telling you guys how to download it. So first you're going to want to go to Chrome or click on the link below. And go to openhardwaremonitor.org. So uh, right here. Then... It looks kind of like a sketchy website, but that's because it's not a major software company that makes it. But what you're going to want to do is click download, and then download now. And then uh, at the bottom left, you're going to want to open it. Now, this is a compressed folder, so when it pops up, you just want to click it once, and then press extract up here, and then extract all. Then you're going to get this folder right here. And this one right here with this icon right here is the only one that you can click on. And I've tried dragging it to the desktop or creating an icon out of it and it just doesn't work. So I just saved the file itself in the desktop. So when you go to open this up, it'll ask you if you want the app to make changes. Just click yes and it'll read all of these all of this information directly from the BIOS. So you've got CPU temperatures, clock speed, fan speed, everything down. And let's say, oh, I don't want to know anything about my hard drive. You can actually just close out of the certain things that you don't want. So uh, you can make it really easy to read for yourself. And yeah, and even if you go into file, you can save reports, submit it, reset it, choose the hardware you want. So let's say I don't want my hard drive, I don't want fan controllers, RAM, and motherboard. And it just shows me my graphics card and my CPU, which is really good. I think it's pretty cool. You can even make it so it shows a minimum, so minimum temperatures, minimum CPU loads, and there's a lot of settings. And overall, I have found it to be really easy and really good when I want to see how hot my CPU gets under loads and my GPU so I can start thinking about cooling options. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.